Hello. Let's try and create a custom uh, color set for uh, the normal node. Um, so basically, um, want to change the uh, blue, red, and green colors. Um, so how can we do that? Well, let's inspect this node. So this is the uh, normal shader. Uh, we need only one letter uh, from this uh, shader, basically. And that's N. Because we're sourcing the normals, we want to manipulate the normals. Um, so, um, so let's try and, and and do that and be a little bit anal analytic uh, when we uh, when we build this custom node. Okay, so let's pipe it in again, and uh, let's just delete everything here. Going to make it really big, so you can see what happens. We create the smallest possible shader that will compile. Let me just um, pull this up so we can see the um, the compile message. Okay. So let's try and uh, see if we can get this one going. So what we need is uh, we need an output. Um, uh, vector out zero. So we're going to output a, a vector. So what kind of vector? Well, uh, we can uh, assign a value and the value is going to be n for normal. So we now have the normal shader going um, and uh, we can actually also address a normal um, uh, by just addressing the single channels one, two, uh, zero, one, two, and that's X, Y, C. So, um, so let's see here. What do we need to do? Well, we need to split this thing up. So. Uh, just to, to make a quick sample here, we are going to generate a float called uh, C. Uh, so we're going to probe the uh, blue channel. Uh, let's try and compile this. It compiles fine. So we say C equals uh, N zero. So this should return uh, everything that is blue uh, will return as uh, white and uh, the red and green should return black. Uh, that is if we actually pipe the C to the emission color. <laughs> okay, and I, I um, my mistake, I did not source the blue channel, I sourced the X. So, there we go. All in all, um, and we kind of like need to expand this. Um, we can remove this one. Uh, we just used it to, to probe. Shader was still compiled. So so let's uh, let's expand this one to uh, to touch all three channels. Doing the same thing like this. And we need to address x is equal 0, 1, and 2. Uh, so c, as you see here, uh, is a float value. But we kind of like need a vector and add them up afterwards. We just created this temporary float uh, to, to visualize the, uh, the data stream from the normal, the filtered normal. Um, so what we want to do is uh, create a vector called x, vector y, vector 
C. All right. So but we also need to mix in some um, some colors, arbitrary colors. So let's uh, generate uh, three colors here. Color, color one um, equals uh, color like this could be one point zero point five zero point one for example. Remember a comma. Let's try and compile this. You see the uh, the color popped up in the UI over here. So I'm going to copy this one out. Two, three. Up. Color two, color three. Let's give this one some different values, color values. 0 0.1, 0 0.8 for example, 0 0.4 something like this yeah maybe not the most sexy colors but it's three colors so we now have three colors and we have we've split out the normal into uh, new vectors actually this is a float value we store in this this vector um, but we're going to um, use this as a mask for this color so how can we do that well Typical way is you um, you want to um, you want to use uh, this function called minimum a comma b something like this. Okay, so let's try and do something like that. So that's minimum. This normal here, and then something else. What is this something else? Well, it's 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 color one, because we're going to pass color one, two, three into these three channels. Okay, so we inject color one there, and uh, we are going to do the exact same thing down here. I'm going to compress this so it doesn't fill a lot or less comma color two and this is minimum value of normal C point color three okay so we now have um, three uh, vector constructs we basically just want to add up because uh, uh, Otherwise, we will not get anything useful. So, how to do that? Well, we want to send this out to the uh, output. So, we just uh, call out and we say, well, what is out? Well, it should be x plus y plus c. Just going to add them up. I'm pressing uh, compile there. As you can see, uh, I have now I have uh, complete uh, access to to change the normal color on this one uh, and the C could be some nice green here so um, so now it's working um, but uh, let's uh, add in uh, a little uh, function a small uh, switch that will switch it from the normals to these uh, custom colors. So how do we do that? Well, I'll say up in the top, we're going to generate an integer called color um, uh, custom colors. We set it to one. Um, so we need to create some kind of uh, state down here that, that catches this custom color and does one or another thing. One thing we need to do is we actually need to insert some metadata up here and you need to create two of these and two facing the other way to define a metadata and you have to do it between the comma and the actual uh, input here. So um, 
what is uh, this uh, checkbox? Well, it's a string uh, widget equals uh, checkbox. Um, so let's compile that. <coughs> and you can see the custom colors uh, switch came up here, does nothing because we simply just generate, generated the uh, um, user interface. So let's see here. Um, so we can create a small if state. Um, if custom colors is equal one, then we want to basically do all these things because that's when the switch is on. That's when we are going to apply this um, this um, vector manipulation with the minimum function. Um, it's one thing I, I, I usually do. I uh, go like this. So, and we need to um, because when you make these brackets, you can fire multiple lines in here. Uh, if you just have do one thing, other thing in a one line, and you don't need the uh, the brackets here, you can you can. But these basically make sure this is a, uh, is a container that will execute everything inside these two brackets. Okay, so if custom colors is on, then do this. Otherwise, uh, we just want to output the normal uh, as it as it is. So I press uh, F7 here, and if I release this one, it should. Um, yeah, it's it's working perfect. So that's how you go about it. Uh, let's check the um, the shader. So we created. Uh, we 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 imported the uh, the normal. We did some things with it, and we created a small uh, checkbox for it, and. Um, Everything works here. We can call the shader uh, normal custom normal custom color call like this. So that means the um, the name comes up here, and um, I think we're going to call it custom color instead. Okay. So um, so that's it. I will uh, upload this video now and the shader and uh, have a nice day.